I'm back. Welcome back to the house. I'm in a new place. I love it. Uh, traffic's right there. Might hear a little bit of stuff. But let's get started. Let's talk eggs. Who doesn't like eggs? I love eggs. I especially like those itty bitty little teeny tiny ones. Caviar. Now let's start out by cooking some eggs, hard boiled eggs. We're going to place two eggs in boiling water and cook them for about 12 minutes and then remove them to an ice bath. Once the eggs have cooled, roll them on a cutting board with a little bit of pressure to remove the shell and the eggs should just come out easily. You're going to want to remove the yolks from the whites, keep them separate, microplane the whites and the yolks in that order for a nice creamy texture. Now for our blini batter. First you're going to take one cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. A few grinds of black pepper. Well, watch out for that egg. Give it a quick whisk to combine all the dries. You're going to add in your egg, one tablespoon of chive, one tablespoon of parsley, the zest of one lemon, and one cup of buttermilk. Give it a little tiny bit of whisk, don't combine too much, and then you're going to add in two ounces of melted butter. Whisk to just to combine. Get your cast iron skillet or any griddle up to about 350. Spray down with some nonstick and ladle on some blinis. You want them about a tablespoon's worth each. Give these a flip when they start to turn a little bit golden on the bottom and cook the rest of the way. Remove your blinis to a serving platter. And if you don't want blinis, you could always use some brioche toast. Once golden brown, remove and cut on a diagonal. Now for our accoutrement, we're gonna use some finely diced red onion, some finely minced chive, our sieved egg white, and yolks, capers, and of course, creme fraiche. You can either eat the caviar straight out of the tin over some ice, or I have a special caviar serving piece right here. Make sure everything is well chilled. You don't want this hot. You also want to eat caviar with a mother of pearl spoon. If you use stainless steel or any kind of metal, you can get some metallic taste in your caviar. Also serve with a nice champagne. Accompany your blini with a little bit of caviar, some accoutrement of your choice. Enjoy what you have. There, isn't that nice? Eh, you know what? Screw it. Who needs champagne? Why not just the champagne of beers? Yeah, that's more like it. You know what? Even have it on a skull plate. And some sour cream and onion chips. You don't have to get too fruit fruit with your caviar. Just eat it however you want. If you're going to enjoy it with some chips and some some beer, then why not go for that? Now 
it's not fun eating caviar by yourself. I mean, unless you're into that sort of thing. I'm gonna share it with my girlfriend. I mean, come on, you could spend a fortune buying a really nice bottle of Dom Perignon, Cristal, or a really expensive bottle of vodka, but you know what? Who cares? You know, the champagne of beers, along with a sour cream and onion potato chip, works just as fine as anything else. In fact, it's less work. I'm really excited to be in this new place. I got the new kitchen. I got a lovely view over here. I know it took a while to get back onto the videos, but you know what? I've got good little run of stuff right now, so you'll be seeing me a lot more in your inbox. If you like what you saw in this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and I will catch you next time.